Welcome back, everyone. Well, moms, when it comes to packing your child's school lunch, did you know that one out of every four children trades or just plain throws their lunch away? All that work just in the trash can. Ah, yes, trying to find a fair trade for Aunt Nellie's cauliflower surprise cookies. It's never easy. Well, here, to ensure your child's lunch does not end up in the garbage is Cheryl Dalvin, Director of Nutrition at Kellogg's. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. I can definitely relate. I'll call the school, not kidding. Did Daniela eat her lunch? And they tell me, no, you know, sorry, Christy, she threw it away again. It's frustrating. As a mom, I know exactly what you're talking about, but it can be a whole lot easier if you use A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. All right, tell me the A. A stands for ask. Inviting your child to help plan and prepare his or her lunch is the best way to make sure it doesn't end up in the garbage. All right, so here's the example. Daniela, what do you want to eat? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> That's where the B comes in. Okay. B is bargain. Allow your child to have one of their favorites in their lunch. And then if it's higher in calories or higher in fat, that's when you want to surround it with more nutrient-rich foods. So your fruits, your vegetables, your yogurts, your cereals. All right, and C? And C stands for cater. It's really important to pack things that appeal to your kid or they're not going to eat them. All right, so let's put it into practice here. Walk me through it. We've asked, we know what they're gonna say. I want the chocolate, I want the treats, and you say, well, let's start bargaining. So how do we start bargaining here? Absolutely, well, the first thing is with the treat, make sure it's small and sensible. So Rice Krispie Treats is a really good example. Okay. They're about 100 calories, so it's enough to let your child enjoy, but not enough to fill them up so that they won't eat their fruit. All right, or we can give them Cheez-Its, which is another little treat. Absolutely, well, it's a nice baked snack. Kids need carb, and kids love to eat Cheez-Its, so that's a nice thing to throw in. All right, so now that I bargained a little bit, I need to start saying, all right, well, we gotta stick some fruit and vegetables in your lunchbox, so how do I coax them into yeah, doing so that? Yeah, so think about how you can make it a little bit different. So for example, an orange, very easy to throw in the lunch pail, mm -hmm. also very easy for them to throw it in the garbage can. Mm -hmm. So make sure that it's peeled and segmented, they're gonna be much wow. more likely to eat it. That's great, it's more inviting that way. Absolutely, and you can make grapes more fun. Put them in the freezer and see if kids like them better that way. The little muffin? Kids love small things, so oh. mini muffins are a great idea. You can cut up your sandwiches with cookie cutters. Small kids love that as okay. well. Okay, I bought the big ones, which is, okay, you're teaching me something. This is good. Vegetables, very difficult for me to get, Daniela or Samantha. To Vegetables eat that. are tough, and remember that kids love dip. So you can think about celery with, uh, you know, a dip Ranch or even dressing. peanut butter. Yeah. And pretzels with peanut butter. Absolutely. All right, so now I'm catering to their needs. I figured, I also saw the animal crackers, which is a treat. Maybe dip it into the yogurt? Absolutely, and I like the animal crackers because they're very sensible. They're a baked snack, they're low in fat. Not a lot of vitamins and minerals. So have them dip it into yogurt and that makes it very nutrient rich. So it's a win-win situation. Absolutely. All right, now I'm, I'm seeing here the Cheez-Its, the Rice Krispies, all this stuff, fruits, vegetables, you know, cha-ching, cha-ching, money, money, costly. I know, well, I'll tell you one of the tricks that I use is I always sit down at the beginning of the week with my daughter and the menu. And we decide what day she's gonna eat at school and what day she might wanna pack a lunch. And when we find these types of treats that she she likes to eat. I hit a warehouse club store. I stock up. Not only is it more economical, it's a lot less stressful. And we learned that already. Now I got it. Let me see. Ask, bargain, yep. cater. A plus. <laughs> okay, thank you. And the next time I call school, they're going to tell me that she ate it all. Thanks to you. <laughs> thank, thank you, you, Cheryl, very much. And if you want to learn more about good nutrition, you can log on to kellogsnutrition.com. And up next, the joy of soy. Soy milk, that is. Don't go away. Definitely.